how did it feel tonight? Team locked in, team did good. I mean, just an amazing Ooh. performance. I mean, it was a good feeling. UVA, top 10 team. To beat them, it was a game we had to win. So it was great. We got a clear title. I got to play Monday. So we just got to bring all that what we played today and bring it to the next game. Did you and Pete feel like you owed him one after both of y'all had to miss the game pretty much up in Charlottesville? Yeah, definitely. But I mean, like I said, it, we is a must win game. And we went out there and we won. So that's all that really mattered. What did you see come out of Pete today? I mean, it's he's the struggles that he's been through. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I mean, that was huge. I thought he was amazing today. Uh, scored from all over the floor, shot the ball well. And he was aggressive, and that's the main thing. When Pete is aggressive and like trying to look for a shot and score, he's huge for us, and that was huge for us today. Especially with me and Caleb not putting up the best statistically offensive performance, but Pete stepping up—that's what it's all about. Being a team, next man up. You went up there, if I can just follow up real quick. Uh, at Notre Dame, I don't know if I'm looking at it wrong. He looked bouncier to me. Like, mm -hmm. is is his body back to where it's something where he looks like he's yeah. moving better the last couple games? Yeah, to me. He, yeah, I guess he is moving better and his legs feeling better. You say that. Shout out to Doug. Hmm. Y'all only had three offensive rebounds today. Was it something that UVA was doing? Can you comment on that? I didn't miss that much today, really. I mean, we, <laughs> his shot, so it wasn't much offensive rebounds again. Hubert was saying that he had told Pete, like, mechanically with the shot to get a little more arc on it. Could you see that from him today? Like, was his shot just looking different off his hand? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Pete, he's been working hard all year to really get back to the place he want to be in. And, I mean, Coach, he told us something funny uh, after the game. It was like, Pete, you show him what it was, and he pulled out some lemon Oreo. So, I guess Coach had kind of asked him what did he need, I guess, to get in the rhythm. I don't know the full story. And he pulled out lemon Oreos, and I think Coach had went and got him some lemon Oreos and somebody. Pete went and got some or something. That was, like, his thing before games. And it worked out. So, everybody just sent lemon Oreos. Wait, they make lemon Oreos? That's what we were saying. We didn't even know they made it. So. Sounds disgusting. Yeah, they any good? I wouldn't know. That's a Pete thing. So <laughs> he had his lemon Oreos in his locker. So him getting that, that was huge for us. Appreciate that nugget, Armando. That's good. We'll put it in a story, okay? <laughs> How do you like guys kind of compartmentalize just all the, the heat you've taken before the Notre Dame game leading up to this? Yeah, I mean, I was saying earlier it was a must-win game. So really, these next two games too are must-win games. So we just got to go out there and just keep winning and. Not really worrying about the outside noise and just trying to win. Armando, you only played 25 minutes tonight. Obviously, a big game coming up on Monday. What does that rest do for you and the team moving forward? Oh, it was great. Yeah, I mean, I'm so used to playing 35, 40 minutes. So to go and be able to get a good rest today is great. And it feel like I didn't even really play. So I guess that'll show you how much I play. And I mean, seeing P step up and be huge and RJ2 and everybody else is good for us because we need everybody to be in it. Now that the finished products out there, how would you assess your acting performance? Uh, 10 out of 10, it was solid. It was easy. There wasn't too much talking, so pretty easy. <laughs> was that your only line, or did they cut other stuff? Yeah, no, nah, it was my only line. Um, I had a few other things I was supposed to do, but we had practice and stuff, so I really couldn't could never align schedule. Armando, that UVA was in first place to start this week. Um, FSU beat Miami today mm -hmm. at the buzzer. Who, who's the best team in this league? I mean, I still think we are the best team. Obviously, we have not showed it anywhere close to it, but, I mean, we go out there and beat UVA. Like, it's never a game where I feel like we're outmatched or overmatched. It's just more like, are we going to bring it fully when we need to get wins? And today, I thought we did that, and I hope it's something that we can carry on. But you, think, you really think that, though? Yeah, 100%. I still think that. Armando, obviously you guys still have a little bit of work to do, 